Tell us a little bit about the position and what it takes to be an offensive lineman playing Division One college football. Yeah, nobody really understands the offensive line because you have so it's the only position where you have multiple guys working in unison at the same time. So it's you know everybody likes to laugh that they're the only big guys on the field, but you know every offensive lineman knows that you're the most athletic guy on the field. You might not be able to run a four two forty, but you're three hundred and fifteen plus. And you're running, you know, against guys that can run sub 540s. It's a minimum now that you're you're benching 400. You're you're plus and you're squatting around 600. Like it's everybody is just massive human beings, and it takes a level of knowledge that a lot of positions don't have. I think I would say the only position on the off, on the field that needs to know more mentally is. Uh, would be one the quarterback himself and the tight end just because he's got to know what we do and he's got to know what what all the wide outs and everything need to know so i want to ask if there's any offensive tackles individual guys that you looked up to and modeled your game around in the nfl right now and also even in college when you're ta- in your time with virginia tech any anyone you played against in your conference or anything like that uh wyatt teller is a guy that they put me in contact with right away and he's been I don't think there's anybody else that you can look up to better at my position. Wyatt is a is a monster, and he does everything the right way and in an elite way. Um, he actually put me in connection with all my, uh, you know, fishing and, and outdoors activities back in Blacksburg. So he's he's a cool dude off the field, too. Um, Wyatt is the real deal. And then I got to play with um, most of my entire career with uh, Christian Darisol, mm. who just – He's beyond elite. Um, he's got some freakish physical abilities that most people don't have. Um, and then uh, a few other guys that are trying to work their way up in the league right now. As everybody knows, we are talking to Virginia Tech redshirt junior offensive lineman Jesse Hanson. When you look at the game and the transition of the game from high school to college football, what is the difference that you've seen in it as a senior in high school to obviously playing Division One football? Uh, of course, the uh, the game itself, the physicality goes up, but it's it's um it's really the knowledge. In high school, you're running football. It's football. It's the same sport, but it's not. The offenses aren't that complex. Like I laugh all the time if you go back to a game and you've got guys in the stands yelling at a high school game that you should be doing this and that. They have no idea what they're doing. Like they <laughs> they do not understand the complexity of it. Um, and then it takes even another one. You get to the league. I, I'm talking to my boys then, and they're talking about, you know, I think that you need to know a lot when you have to know. We had an offense with my old staff that was all word based. So you've got every scheme that you run has 10, 12 words. And then there's 10 or 12 words for each direction you're going to go. And each scheme has a different set of words. And then you've got tags that go on to all those that can change absolutely everything about it. And so there's just so much more input to put in at that league. So being able to do what you're supposed to do and not be thinking about it, Mm. because the second that you're thinking about what you have to do, your feet slow down and you're done. So one of the big things in college football now has been the transfer portal. We've seen a lot, especially last year's accelerated teams really rebuilding solely on the transfer portal. A lot of them teams make the college football playoffs. You saw TCU make the national championship with a lot of transfers. What are your thoughts on the the flexibility and like the accessibility for these players? Yeah, I mean it's it's rough, but it's always got its pros and cons. Like for me, um, half of my friends are all gone in the aspect of like. I came in a class with over 20 of us, and I think there's uh, four of us left, maybe five. Um, you just you don't see – it's affected, um, like, the camaraderie of teams big time and the aspect of people are in and out all the time. It feels like the NFL in the way that it's – it's you don't know if the guy that you're beside in the locker is going to be there in the next month or two. Like, um, people are in and out way more than even when I started. So, I mean, that's a big deal. But I've also met some guys that came in out of nowhere and are immediately affecting the team in awesome ways.